Fear, it's such a strange concept, an unpleasant emotion caused by the threat of danger, pain or harm. But it's so much more than that, isn't it? As a child, you were scared of things like the boogeyman, monsters under the bed, monsters in the cupboard, monsters in the dark, the dark. But as we age, fear doesn't stay young. It matures with us, following us around, making and creating those unpleasant emotions. The boogeyman turns into strangers that look at you weird, friends that rub you the wrong way, a person that you're afraid will do you harm. The monsters under the bed turns into the piles and piles and lists and lists of things you need to do. Things you need to do, but you're not doing them. You're not doing them. Instead, you're laying on your bed, watching this. The monsters in our cupboard turns into the outfits, makeup, smiles, size, body, hair, all from yourself. You become afraid of who you're trying to be. The monsters in the dark turn into eyes, so many eyes, constantly there, staring, staring, unblinking, unmoving. But when you look at them, they're not there. But you swear, they were there, staring, staring, unblinking, unmoving. The dark becomes the moments where our fears spiral into something we can't control. Anxiety, depression, isolation, dysmorphia. And we don't have our mums to calm our fears and hold us tight. And we don't have our dads to battle and protect with all his might. We only have ourselves, right?